hey guys welcome back to the channel and if you are new a special welcome to you if you have not yet subscribed let us do it in five one are you we are with pan two you know what to do three hit subscribe it's easy four what are you waiting for and five thank you if you subscribe and if you are new i'm your girl trish mac you can find me on instagram at trish mac 100 and i'm just out here like jps changing lives with my energy <laughs> so as you can see by the caption this type of video might not be everybody's cup of tea but then again it just might be the cup of tea that somebody needs so without further ado i'm gonna get into it remember that at the end of this video i will announce the winner or winners to the trish mac trivia from my last video so today i'm about to give you a little pep talk i'm about to hit you with motivation because sometimes we need to go pick her up her we need a little something something to get us through the days so on that note i'm going to talk to you a little bit on the topic of dirt so there's a popular saying in jamaica if a dirt a dirt which means anything or anything kind of sort of so let us look at dirt as something that might be undesirable something might that might have happened in the past something happening right now um something that might be brought on by somebody else you might be doing it to yourself or just life happening circumstances situations we have heard the term that life is dishing you dirt whatever the source of the dirt whatever the dirt may be i am here to tell you that the dirt might be necessary and the dirt is useful so here we go now as it relates to dirt most times the dirt come at a very inconvenient time and a lot of times it comes if it comes by somebody else by somebody you would least expect picture this you will grow up with somebody know somebody for as long as there may be if somebody asks you know the person there they say yeah man me know her but they will never say the extent to which they know you why because at that point you're really on their level you are wallowing in self-doubt depression you are not living up to your full potential so at that point you might not pose a threat to them it won't seem as if you're going anywhere you're not going to get to their level and worse surpass it so there's nothing really to talk about you yeah, mommy noir but the day the time that you decide all right i'm going to start taking care of myself i'm going to start making strides towards um bettering myself really actualizing my full potential really doing something for me and it seems as if you're going somewhere ha <laughs> ha all of a sudden they remember you and most times they don't remember you for the good things so all of a sudden they can tell people that when you're in their country you used to write grass and wipe your ass i beg your pardon <laughs> what me just say you used to use grass wipe your ass or when you're there at primary school you used to wear slippers come at school what that have any bearing what kind of bearing that have on what you are now or when you did their high school you had the biggest this and the biggest that all type of things now they do this with the intent to cast a shadow on the little light that you're trying to bring to the world they do this with the intent to detract you or to distract you from the goal that you're trying to achieve they see and they know, you know, they, they have always known what you are capable of. And most times they will never give the look of push that you need to get there. They like when you are there. You have them approval when you're not necessarily doing the things that you're supposed to do. But once it is that you start doing the right things for you, all of a sudden they go digging dirt. And let me tell you something. You see dirt? Dirt act. Hello, please. Sometimes I might look a dust so and it blow up on your face and you can't wash it off. But sometimes some big old broken or boulder, they come off and want ill tap. And when it caught you, you can't do nothing more than just lay down. But one of my favorite verses in Corinthians says, You might be cast down, but not destroyed. 
you know in a science in a physics them say energy can neither be created nor destroyed just picture god as the ultimate source of energy and you see once you possess him once it is that you are living in the will and purpose of god once you hold on to your creator so you might be cast down in many situations but you are not destroyed so even if the dirt lick you down i have lied down for a while just know that you can bounce back from it so what could i really really be the purpose of this and how could this be a good thing how me could i really use this no one these dirt situations whether as i said it's brought on by persons or i just life so we in our pandemic a lot of people have lost their jobs that is considered dirt you in our dirty situation right now you can't pay your bills you and your husband and your wife in a problem because guess what you see financial problem can cause a bag of things because all of a sudden you go here and say, oh, you are the man and you are supposed to be providing. And then you go here and say, you're ungrateful because a long time yet. So unnecessary things can really come up because of financial difficulties. We are humans. So yes, when this dirt come on now, here's what the dirt can do. One, the dirt can make you really know who is for you. Whether family, friends, co-worker, acquaintance, sometimes when the dirt come, it helps you to really separate who is for you and who is not because as i said sometimes sometimes the people them who closest to you bring on the dirt because guess what who know you better who knows your secrets who knows the things that you're really not necessarily proud of than people who closest to you people who you grew up with people who you know sometimes are even family members so when you are in this situation and when you see who they dig dirt then you are able to separate who is on your side who is really for you and who is not and sometimes you need to just take away yourself from negative people follow the redeem follow the redeem and take away yourself next let the dirt push you closer to god let me tell you this you see whenever it is that you are living in what your creator has willed and purposed for your life there is always happiness there is always success so guess what if it is that you find yourself in a situation where the dirt coming from every angle, you're perplexed from every side, let it push you closer to God. If you remember the story of Anna in the Bible, so for those of you who don't know more, just go through it real quick. So Anna was one of the wives of a man called Elkanah. The other wife was called Penina. Now as much as Elkanah loved Anna, Anna could not have children. And Penina was a thorn in her back. Every day, Penina get up and egg y'all. You know, sister, you can't breed. Egg y'all. You just there with the man and can't give him no one pitney, so egg y'all. You know, see me the game pitney, you can't give no pitney egg y'all. You can't imagine. It's bad enough that whatever is happening in life, life is issuing you with a dirty circumstance. You already can't have pitney. And this woman now in your back every single day. What did Anna do? Anna went to the temple. Anna went directly to God. Anna start bald before God and said, God do. Me tired of this. I'm tired. Jesus, I'm tired. My God. Me can't take it no more. I'm begging you. If you give me a child, if you give me a son, Lord, I will give him back to you. And bada bing, bada boom. Of course, God answered her prayer and there came Samuel. So, as I say, don't make it cast you down don't make it bury you because that them i did the dirt for allow it to push you closer to god allow it now you see you see when you're back against the wall when you see your family they try to tear you down when you see your friend they might try to tear you down just go to the somebody who never go change the somebody who is constant and allow him to direct your bark yes next let the dirt be nourishment for the tree that will bear fruit to your success hello you lose the work so you go to sit down no you have been sitting for years on a business plan you have the idea from a long time you want to launch a youtube channel you want to start your online store you want to start your business if you watch my last video i would have mentioned the chef who lost his job at a hotel and why him do him, him launch a business that he had in mind for a long time and now he's doing it all by himself let it now cause you to actualize your full potential because guess what you're done in a situation already what are you gonna do let 
it nourish the tree that will bear the fruit to your success so if you look past celebrities a lot of the time as soon as it is that they're gonna make it big somebody gonna dig up some dirt from somewhere for try to match up with people them career if them have a good marketing team and if they are strong in their mind and in their thoughts and with ideas you will notice that business page up every day them post them song them can guess what Anytime they're telling you, know, you go have onlookers. Yeah, man. People go always a come from every angle. So they might check the WhatsApp, they might check the Instagram. So you now need to line up everything that you have. Line up your business page, line up your, your YouTube channel, line up your, on your online store, line up your physical store, line up your restaurant. Line up so that when them come, them actually find something to invest in, to spend and therefore helping you. Let me show you this. Let me show you how God work. If you know anything about farming, you will know that. One of the hardest part of the work is to prepare the field. To take out the weed, them, to take out the stone, them, to plow up and to ready the land. And God just say, here what? Go and go dig. Your very enemies, they might be the hardest part of the work. Dig, 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 dig. Send them go on him, send them go on and make them have to dig up the dirt now. Dig up, dig up, dig up, dig up. So you get the easiest part of the work, you know, sir. Why you need to do now a scatter the seeds them? Why you need to do a invest in a yourself? Why you need to do is not give them the satisfaction, but really work on you, really push yourself to actualize in your full potential. Listen, you have to stand resolute and know, say, if a dirt, a dirt. Because when the dirt come, I'm not going to make it bury me. When the dirt come, I'm not going to make it blind me. Or, or, or block my vision for what me really really want to do when the dirt come and it no matter where it come from it might lick me down and it might hurt me but what i am not destroyed there is time once i have life to pick myself up and to do what i need to do so ladies and gentlemen take this as a little something because i saw when we get the little something in my spirit and i like share it so if you've been following me on instagram um long before i launched this channel you would have been used to me just popping in on my on my uh, my status and just giving some things and just come off yeah because sometimes some people they want some some place and they need to hear this if a dirt a dirt it don't matter where they come from it don't matter what kind of dirt it is emotional struggles financial struggles physical struggles because listen to me you see after you have a baby oh god oh god sometimes the artist type of dirt that it is hard for some people to bounce back hard when you deal with your ear they drop out when you deal with no sleep when you deal with the changes in your body so my time I really feel like say, all right it done. Life really a dish your dirt. And worse if it is that you don't have a support system, you don't have a team, you don't have a man where they look out for you and really give you the comfort and something you need. But guess what? If a dirt, a dirt. Trust God. Make the dirt show you who your people them really be, who the people who in your corner be. Yes? Let the dirt push you closer to God because in him your true will and purpose will be will be actualized. And of course, of course, let the dirt make you realize your full potential. Let go and go launch the something where you sit down pan all long. But because you're complacent in the local hotel work or the local work where you have said sure, make it stay, but no, you're not on a work. So come. Line it up, man. Because guess what? God don't give your enemies, the people who intend to bury you, the people who tend to throw you down, the hardest part to go and go dig. So scatter your seeds, yes? And let that dirt nourish the tree that bears the fruit to your success. The dirt has made you a better person. So yes, you might be ashamed of what you did in the past, but it made you humble. The things that you went through, the situation and circumstances, it made you humble. It made you appreciate life more. It made you a better businesswoman. It made you more driven. The things that you had to go through. So, no, nobody carry dirt control in your face, yes? Especially because God has already forgiven you for whatever it is that you might have done. Pick yourself up. If a dirt, a dirt. Alright? So, we have come to... 
not the end because as I said I need to announce the winner of Trish Mac Trivia where you had the chance to win something so bad to bad now suppose me tell you say nobody nobody N M O B H A T T Y nobody Body got the answer that I was looking for. Something all right. Something all right, yeah. Because of this, I don't have one winner. I will have multiple winners, but here is how I did it. So the person who came closest to the answer, I'm going to give that person two earrings. I'm going to raffle the names of the persons who also came close or mentioned something close to what i was looking for and that person who wins that raffle will get one and then i'm also gonna raffle all the other persons who answered the question in another bag for the opportunity to get one i promise for my next trish Mac trivia that i will try to make the question as clear as possible so only the persons who actually answer the question would be entered into the raffle Fair enough, but for today, everybody have a chance to win something. So, before I go into it, let me read what the question was. The question said, what hair product, indicating one single product, have I used in at least three videos? So, I want one product where you see me use at least three times. That's what I was trying to ask. But then I understand based on how the question is stated that some persons interpreted it a different way. So the answer I'm looking for, of course, is my trusty. And notice I said specific name. Specific. Specific. So the answer I was looking for, of course, is my Jamaica Mango and Lime Jamaican Black Castor Oil Original. I want the specific product because whole heap of castor oil there. Whole heap of Jamaican castor oil there, whole heap of Jamaican black castor oil there. So, and even the Jamaican black castor oil, mango and lime, you have it in lavender and rosemary. So I wanted original. So that's what I was looking for. But I guess my chest look a bit too high. <laughs> so, the person who came closest to the answer was, drum roll please, Anna McBean. Yay! Who, by the way, happens to be my gorgeous older sister okay so she is the winner of two earrings from let's clay ja and of course we will make arrangements for her to redeem those because i pay for them and the people them collect now in this little goodie bag here is the um are the names rather of all the persons who answered with more than one product. So some people said it fit with Sanil oil and deep conditioner. Some people said deep conditioner and something else. So anybody who answered more than one, you have been placed in this little goodie bag here. And you all have the chance to win one single pair of earrings from Let's Clay J. So let's see who it's going to be. Tom, 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 tom. Drum roll, please. And the winner is, see if you can see it before me, who is that? Kedra Hodges! Yay! I will make contact with you to get your pair of earrings. Alright, so, I'm loading up the goodie bag again with the names of those persons who only said like castor oil. I think somebody said Jamaican castor oil um sorry um right so the people them who say castor oil or something like that you have been entered into here and the winner is whoops see if you can see it before me it upside down who is it Kedero Bell hey Kedero 
Uh, she said castor oil. So guys, I want to thank you so much for entering Trish Mac Trivia. I'm also lining up a little nice gift for the month of April so that you guys can have the chance to win again. But until my next video, this is your girl Trish Mac. And of course, before I say goodbye, remember, broken wings can relearn how to fly. Thanks guys. See you in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.